Hello, hello, DMLA. We are here and we're going to be opening up some divine chests. Pretty much the first set of divine chests I've properly opened for this event. So it's going to be like 150 chests. Um, and we will be continuing with the castle event as well today. As expected, we have hit the worst possible luck in the castle event so far. So will our luck be different in terms of these divine chests? I mean, it's not like we can get a full Divine Dragon drop out of these, but of course we can get the times 50 Talisman drops. Um, anytime you get a times 3 Talisman drop, then that's average drop luck. Anything above that is above average. 1 is obviously below average for the drops. So, for example, all of these ones are very disgusting. A few 3s is pretty bad. And the rest of the dragons don't really matter because we don't really need any of them. But, of course, the way that we'll be getting more chests is going to be through dungeon grinding, mainly. And there we go, we got some times tens, which isn't too bad. But, if you don't get a lot of times tens and a lot of times fifties, your average drops are probably going to be below average. So, every single times ten you get is probably going to help you out quite a lot. Times 50s are obviously very, very delectable, but it is what it is. Today, we'll just see what we get. Oh, we also get that ladybug decoration as well, which is pretty cute. Look at it. I didn't even realize that was a thing. How adorable. And that is one thing about this event that I will point out. It has a very, very cute badge if you do manage to finish off the full event. So if you are really looking forward to a nice looking badge, you might want to get the Ladybird badge from this event. But we will do this, then move on to that castle event, because we're still on level 4 at the moment because of the luck that we've been getting. There we go, we got a times 50, woo! Celebration time! But yeah, first week of this event, I wasn't really playing too much. Um, I was also incredibly ill. Um, so I didn't really get to do much dungeon grinding. It is Easter now, at least in England. So that means that there's going to be more opportunity to grind over this weekend. But realistically, I know that most people are waiting for a good dungeon week to spend all of their jammies. But do remember that since we are going to be entering week three of the event soon, Make sure you spend all of your tickets before the end of this week, or at least before they swap over going into next Monday, because you will just lose your tickets if you don't spend them. Another option, of course, along with that, is to just not spend your holy talismans. You can spend all the tickets so that they don't get wasted, but you don't have to spend your holy talismans yet. You can save all of those, and maybe I should have taken that river dragon. Whoopsie! I'm so used to clicking the duplicate button, um, oh well, <laughs> I guess we'll pick up another river dragon another time. Whoopsie doodles, I didn't mean to do that. Is that two times fifties and a times ten? Oof, oof, now that is tasty. <laughs> that I can definitely, definitely agree with. Definitely like that one, but... Anyway, we still got weeks to go. Much, much grinding and many things ahead of us. But I was really hoping that this castle event wouldn't give me the average drop luck just for once. But no, we're at 100% of chests having to be opened on every level, of course. Why would it not be like that? Why would it not be like that? Anyway, let's open our bonus 8 chests as well. We got a times 10, so I'm not going to complain. So out of all of those chests, out of 150-ish chests, we got 639 talismans. Um, that's actually pretty nuts. Because um, if you're curious as to what the average drop rate is on the talismans, you can check here. Average number of rewards per 100 chests opened. It is 297 per 100, which means it's roughly, you know, three times the amount of chests that you open. So we were um, incredibly lucky there. Wow, that is quite impressive. I still haven't decided whether I want to get my hands on Zeus and Heimdall yet. 
or if I'm going to go for Young Kex and Bridget. So I'm not going to spend my Teller's Memes just yet. That will be left to be decided at another time. But now that we've opened up those chests, like I said, we are going to be going back on to level 4 here. Um, 2 out of 2, 5 out of 5, 5 out of 5, and we're currently working our way to the 4th chest on this level. So let's see, will we have to open up every single chest on this level too? Oh boy howdy, I cannot wait to have to do that. It's so exciting having to open up every single chest on every single level. And by that I mean, yes, that's obvious sarcasm, um, because you want to try and progress in these events as quickly as you can, because you get more event currency on the higher levels. So yes, it's very, very annoying when you don't manage to get some nice RNG. Um, it's very, very annoying, in fact. But... Chesty number 700, so we're going to have to go and do some battle winning as well. I guess we'll do some arena. Just because, you know, we do still want some divine materials. We do still want ancient materials. Plus, if we do ever actually add a primal to our team, it would be nice to, um, you know, have some primal materials ready for that day. Who knows? Maybe one day they'll buff primal back to what it was before or what it displayed as being that 100% chance to stun and then maybe primal will just be the best element in the whole game you know I'm saying it's unlikely but it could happen right I remember when they nerfed shadow and plant remember that well they nerfed plant mainly and shadow just got destroyed by sigils but yeah I remember when they destroyed plant Plant was the supreme leader element for many, many years. And then they just nerfed it, and then it was bad. But to be fair, it was way overdue. Plant used to be insanely overpowered in this game. Um, I'm glad that they finally did balance it out, but I think them balancing it in pretty much the same time frame as when they added sigils just meant that it got double nerfed which was way too much, obviously. We don't really use plant for anything these days now. But trust me, Andy, the Autumn Dragon, genuinely used to be, like, arguably the best dragon in the game. People used to say it was Sumo was the best dragon in the game. And I get it, he had good stats, and he obviously had the light and shadow elements. I get it. But he just didn't have that plant. And IMO, the plant... Plus Shadow was just too good. It was just way too overpowered. Pretty much any situation in the entire game, you were guaranteed to one-shot the enemies. Because we didn't have long dungeons, and Arena was even easier than it is now. <laughs> so I'm thinking back to a few years now, but the OGs will understand what I'm saying here. Man, it's weird to think... How, uh, how different things used to be. Remember old Arena and Enchantment League? You know, the better version of Enchantment that used to give more materials? I remember. Um, but now we've got these Divine Fests, which are actually better than the original Divine Events for free-to-plays. But, you know, they still have their problems. But, anywho, we've got enough currency. Are you going to give me this key? No. Of course you're not. Why would you? Okay, so it's going to be another 5 out of 5 on level 4. So it's going to be 2 out of 2, 5 out of 5, 5 out of 5, 5 out of 5. Probably 5 out of 5 again. And I just want the egg. Is it really so much to ask? But genuinely, this luck that you're seeing me have, this is the average player luck now because of the, the changes that they made to this event. So if you're experiencing the same thing I am, it is normal now. This is what you should expect playing these castle events. Uh, there's only two fights that I can't do in this event, but you know, if I needed to open up every single chest, I'd be sweating right now because we've only got like three and a half days left just over. It's not a lot of time. And we are still on level 4. So, um, yeah, not, not cool at all getting the average drop rates. But it's what the majority of us are going to get now. 
So uh, yeah, my my take so far is castle event bad, and we've already got people complaining that you know they're on level six and they just cannot do the fights because they don't have energy anymore. So I would say castle event double bad, but let's hope they actually. I guess fix it, balance it a little bit better next time. I don't know if this is still doable in this amount of time, getting like the worst luck, I assume it is. But it's certainly going to be a close call. And I have not missed a reset so far. So imagine if you do miss resets. <sighs> Yikes. But anyway, I am going to continue collecting stuff, continue logging in for that castle event to get that ego boy. But for now, I do wish you the best of luck, and I hope that you get some insane Talos meme drops as well yourself. I hope that you get all the dragons that you want. But I guess for now, ciao.